Okay, how's everybody doing today? Uh, today I want to show you how to treat your Brooks saddle for the first time. Uh, Brooks saddles are very comfortable once broken in, um, but the break-in process can be a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, but this is what's going to help it along. So uh, the little packet that the seats usually come with in that little envelope on the back of the package, uh, Proofide. Um, it's this uh, kind of paste stuff, but it's a leather conditioner. And that's what's recommended for the for the saddles. So we're going to, a lot of people think you just put it on the outside and, um, and that conditions the leather, but you don't. You want to cover all of it. So you want to take this off of the bike and uh, you want to cover the underside. The underside is actually even more porous than the top and especially the edge all the way around. So you need a couple things. <clears throat> of course the Proofeed, Proofide, whatever it's called. Um, a soft cloth or paper towel works fine. Uh, and then a bit of a brush to get in around the rails where you can't reach up here where you can't reach with the cloth and then just because this is going to be coated in basically oil of some kind we're going to put it on a little sham wow so it doesn't get all over my tablecloth all right so here we go okay on the top surface this doesn't take a lot uh, because it's pretty smooth so I'm just going to squish a little bit out onto my paper towel here and wipe it in. Uh, the bottom surface is a lot more porous, so it's going to soak up a lot more underneath and the edges, of course. But you want to cover all of it, all the leather. stuff smells pretty good too. It's got some uh, some aromatic qualities to it. But that's probably going to finish the whole rest of the outer saddle. Making sure to get the edges. Smells a little bit like Mr. Clean, actually. It smells like a cleaner. But I bet that's some kind of uh, natural solvent, basically, to penetrate the, the leather. Okay, now we got it all over the outside. Now we're going to go to work on the inside. See how fast that was. The inside is going to take a bit longer. This uh, this here, the bottom so uh, porous, this isn't so much for breaking as it is for waterproofing. So when you ride through a puddle, you don't want it splashing your nice new leather saddle without uh, some kind of protectant on there because it's just going to soak right into the leather. And whatever gunk is in that water, you're never going to be able to get it out of the leather. So you want to do this Preferably first thing, uh, I I have ridden this saddle before, so I didn't get to it right away. But I'm doing it now. I didn't uh, I didn't hit any puddles and get it wet yet. So I'm gonna get the edges. I'm trying to get in around the metal there. Probably going to use the rest of this whole packet. I think it's basically just one serving that they give you. One one treatment. Your first treatment. The, probably the most important treatment. And of course the toothbrushes. So you can get all up where your paper towel can't reach. Up under your rails.
the bottom's really soaking this stuff up fast. Um, but it is a where'd it go? It's a good thing I brought extra, but where I think it's in the garage. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get my, gonna go have to get my tin, I think. Okay, I found it. So it comes in a 30 milliliter little tin. This one was 12 bucks. It's the US, of course. So this little guy is supposed to give you enough treatments to do the saddle a bunch of times. Uh, I think any subsequent treatments are gonna be quite a bit less uh, needed. Because the first one's really sealing up the pores and soaking it up, so it needs more the first time. Just little dabs at a time. Almost done. Okay, and I got every little corner, every little nook, and everything with the brush. The brush works really well. Just in a toothbrush, you can use an old one. That's a brand new one because I don't have any old toothbrushes. Uh, but I do have a drawer full of new ones, so uh, that's neither here nor there. So we got it all covered. Uh, I'm going to let this sit overnight and um, wipe it off in the morning. So it's going to, uh, I'm going to buff all this stuff off so it doesn't turn my shorts all oily and it'll be all ready to go. Okay, and the next day, you just uh, buff off the excess, and she's all ready to ride. I think she's going to develop a nice patina too over time. These things look pretty cool once they're uh, once they're broken in. And then as the leather loosens up, you take the provided uh, spanner wrench and you can tighten up the screw here, uh, just like a quarter or a half turn uh, at a time. And um, so the leather doesn't start sagging and breaking down because the leather's really suspended between the front and the back mounts here. But there you go. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.